All right, our first big newsmaker of the meeting, Democratic Congressman Alan Grayson, better known for some of his fiery comments on Republicans and health care, now taking aim at the Federal Reserve along with so many others. He says the Federal Reserve is more secretive than the CIA. Uh, in his new amendment, co-sponsored by Republican Ron Paul, would allow the first ever independent audit of the Federal Reserve. The amendment edged out a competing proposal from North Carolina Congressman Mel Watt, who wants to limit those very audits. Congressman Grayson now joins the morning meeting. Your amendment approved by the House Financial Services Committee. A huge huge step uh, forward. Where do you go from here and what's your level of confidence, Representative, that you can continue the momentum behind this piece of legislation? Where we go is to stop the secret bailouts. There have been hints and hints now for more than two years that the Fed's been conducting huge bailouts on the scale of hundreds of billions of dollars to favored large failed banks. Now we're going to find out all about it and we're going to decide whether it's good or bad. Uh, comments from both the former Fed Chief uh, Alan Greenspan and, for that matter, uh, former Fed Chief going back even further, Paul Volcker, uh, to the House Financial Services Committee. Uh, they say, we can assure you that this protection of internal deliberations and reaching decisions that will affect market conditions and could expose sensitive information about particular institutions is indispensable to the Federal Reserve's conduct of monetary policy. Basically, if you look behind the curtain, you won't like what you'll see and it'll screw things up worse. Uh, how do you respond to that? Well, we are in Emerald City right now. We've arrived in Emerald City. Toto has just run underneath the curtain. Excellent. And we're excellent. about to see who is that man behind the curtain and what's he up to. And, and they don't want, and, and what, what do you think is behind the curtain? Well, what I think is favoritism to our selected big banks that have failed and led us to the brink of national bankruptcy. What, what, what of the fact that lending law, that being a bank is no longer pays that mu much money to, to lend money? Lending because of modern technology is a low profit business, so the government legalized much higher profit ways to do it in, this, in, in, in secret, and basically the Federal Reserve is their back end. Do you, are, you, are we on our way to restoring laws for lending in this country? Listen, capitalism requires rewarding success and punishing failure. That's what Joseph Schumpeter said oh, almost a century ago. So far, we've seen plenty of reward for success on Wall Street, but no punishment for failure, not when the Fed is handing out blank checks. Understood. Representative Grayson, enjoy your day. Thanks for the time. I